James, welcome to Aldershot. You must be delighted to have uh, signed on. Yeah, really pleased. Um, really looking forward to the challenge. Uh, obviously a new one for me, um, playing in the National League and re really excited to, to see where we can go this season. You've had a brilliant career so far with over, well, I think it's, is it 600, over 600 appearances in the Football League, but um, how would you describe your game yourself? Yeah, I'm someone who likes to try and get on the ball and, and, and make things happen and pop up with the odd goal here and there and, and, and plenty of assists, hopefully. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get going. And talk us through a bit about your career. Obviously, you've played at championship level over 200 times. You've had over 300 appearances in, in League One as well. So, you know, it's, it's been a long one so far and a very successful one, but how, how's that been? Yeah, obviously, I've been privileged to, to, to have a decent career up to date and, you know, I, I don't want to stop there. I want to... Yeah. I want to keep going and, and see, how, see how long I can keep going for and you know this is a new challenge for me and uh, really excited about it um, you know I've been been in training with the boys for the last sort of 10 days now and um, yeah it's been it, it's been really good and they've, they've been really welcoming and you know hopefully we can be successful this season. Our season last year we finished just outside the playoffs obviously yourself at Oxford you were part of that team that went to Wembley and, and won promotion from League One so so we'll, maybe what we'll be aiming for this year to improve on last year so talk us through that playoff run how was that being being part of a, a club that, that did so well at Wembley? Yeah obviously we've, we've been knocking on the door for quite a few years and you know we've missed out on the playoffs and we lost in at Wembley against Wickham a, a few seasons before so it was a great way to, to, to end my time at Oxford was to, to finally get get into the championship and um, you know I wish them all the success this year and I'm, I'm sure they'll do fantastic. You come in as the more senior side of the dressing room. It's, it's a dressing room that's a bit bit younger this year, isn't it? So is, is that something you're looking to do to pass on a bit of your wisdom yeah, and, and experience onto them? Yeah, obviously, obviously I can can relate some of my experience to, to, to the boys and you know it's quite a young group and there's a couple of us senior players that, that will be doing that throughout the season. and. Um, yeah, obviously, all the wisdom that, that, that we've got, we can we can pass on, hopefully. And how's, how's well, you played your first minutes today? How, how was that? Yeah, it was nice to blow some cobwebs out, um, sort of getting used to where you are on the pitch again. Um, you know, I've been training lots and playing games in training, but you, you just can't replicate it once you get out on that pitch. So so I'm, I'm excited now. Hopefully, I'll keep getting more and more up to speed and, and be ready to go for Saturday. It's obviously early days for you, but yes, as you say, it's just a week away now. Are you excited for the first game of the season? Yeah, definitely. I think everyone is. You know, it's, a, it's always a long wait, isn't it? Six to eight weeks with, with, with no competitive football. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, all the fans come out in their numbers and, and we get a positive result.